Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net and it is Friday the 19th of July. It's another hot day uh, across the British Isles, hottest of the conditions out towards the west at the moment and looks as if that's probably where they're going to be staying too. But the weather wolf's been sniffing out a change in conditions and here it is, look, you can see that nose all primed, ready to uh, see if you can spot cooler weather on its way and models this morning suggesting that cooler weather is on its way towards the end of this week but of course on a Friday we get the update of the Japanese output always worth looking at this is the model that picked up on the cold weather through the winter also picked up on the start of this fine weather as well through the summer so it's one that I must admit I lean quite heavily onto and the build-up to this change is uh, seen clearly here on the city forecast map for Manchester uh, for the next eight days. And you can see how temperatures kind of hold around into the mid to high 20s look right through, but then fall off here by the time we're getting uh, into next Thursday and into next weekend. Also, notice how dry it is leading up to uh, next weekend, but then we find these outbreaks of rain coming through as the temperatures fall. So this is how the Japanese see things and this is the forecast uh, for day two to day eight and this is from uh, today through to next Friday so this is taking us up to Friday the 26th and uh, this is uh, anomaly uh, height anomaly so the red colours are indicating higher than normal heights you see the British Isles underneath here and you can see those yellows and reds those are above normal heights but look down to the south here well low the normal heights for the time of year. And those higher than normal heights translating to surface pressure something like this. Uh, this is the surface pressure anomaly ending next Friday the 26th. And British Isles underneath here look in those yellow and red colours indicating that um, we are going to be seeing pressures quite significantly higher than normal. 8 millibars plus higher than normal across northern Scotland. But notice them starting to fall here down towards the southwest. A rainfall prediction from the Japanese model showing it staying generally dry across much of the country, though not as dry as it has been. And these blue colours coming into the southwest indicating that's where we're going to be seeing the breakdown coming in from. And I think most of the rainfall you can see there coming in the form of showers right at the very end of this forecast period. Then we get into week two, which takes us forward from Saturday the 27th right the way through to Friday the 2nd of August. And... Um, well, what a change. This is the heights for them, and you can see heights below normal, and the jet stream is back, look, blowing through here during that week. So the Japanese really going for the idea of the high being squeezed away, look, and low pressure start to come in with the jet stream returning across the British Isles. And uh, surface pressure, this is the anomaly, look, and it's well below normal for the time of year, bringing it down to between 4 and 6 millibars below normal for the time of year. The Azores High here is retreating back towards the southwest, and they're bringing the idea of lower pressure in. Now, may have overdone this a little bit, but certainly this idea of us going into an unsettled period looks to be uh, the one to accept right now. And if we look at rainfall, forecast rainfall anomalies, we're in the blues, we're in the uh, 2 to 4 millimetre rate, uh, which puts us up to uh, around 20 to 30% of uh, normal rainfall, 120, 130% of normal rainfall. And it could be that that is just because of um, heavy showers, but I think there will be rain coming through. But those heavy showers at first as the breakdown comes in, then turning more into rain. So certainly during this week, the week ending the 2nd of August, Friday the 2nd of August, looks more unsettled. Really sorry for those of you who who are looking forward to starting your summer holidays, who didn't want to see that, but I know that's good news for those of you farming and growing, because uh, things just start to get a little bit dry now. And then to the final period, this one runs then from the 3rd of August, so this is taking us from the 3rd of August right the way through until the 17th of August, and look, keeps heights lower than normal across the British Isles, particularly out towards the west, and maintains the jet stream here across the country. So this unsettled theme it wants to continue through this early part to the middle part of August. Surface pressures also showing as being low than normal trying to get uh, this lower pressure in and uh, I think the cooler unsettled conditions still there and the rainfall chart as well showing rainfall around or just above normal at around 100 to 120 percent remember this is for the two week period that uh, ends on the 17th of August. So you do have to take into account to some extent that this is the total and the means for that two week period. So it may not necessarily be like this right through. However, what I think will happen is it will be fairly unsettled through until uh, around the 10th of August. Now, 
I don't think it's going to be a washout. Uh, I don't know whether to do this. I think rainfall totals probably around 80 to 100 percent of normal in the south. I think nearer 110 to 120, perhaps a little bit more percent of normal in the far north. But I do think from the 10th onwards, we then go into perhaps seven to 10 days worth of fine weather once again taking us through to about the 20th but I think this idea of the break getting through and the jet managing to get back in is something we need to look at again for the latter part of August. So the message is make the most of the heat and the fine weather we might be moaning in a couple of weeks time how cool it's gone and how unsettled it is and bring back the sunshine so let's bear that in mind when we whinge about being too hot. But for now thanks for watching weatherweb.net remember we're kept free of charge by the adverts that you see around the screen here it's by you coming back and using the site and using the adverts it's that that keeps us free of charge so thanks for doing that. So whatever you're doing today have a great day and keep the sun shining bye for now.